Why, hello there. Welcome back to another pack opening with the Dual Noob. Uh, today, we have Maximum Gold. Uh, I know I'm a little late to the party on this one, but there's a couple cards in there that uh, I'm looking for. And um, I'm also interested in getting some of those gold rares. See how those are looking. Anyways, uh, let's get into this. Pull that on this side. Unseal it. Let's see. Let's get a knife out of here. I don't care too much for the box. So, I don't care about accidentally destroying it. I'm not going to keep it. It's going straight to the trash. There we go. I'm right, just gonna put that in there. Just gonna go over here. Excuse the dogs barking. All right. I'll do that. Ah, look at that. Four packs all in there. I don't know if that was well with that. I'd hope it would. <laughs> Alright, four packs. Four packs, seven cards each. Let's do this. What will we get today? Actually, I'm going to open all of them and just, you know, stack them. You know, I'm not going to even take a look at what they are. I'm just going to stack them all, and then I'm just going to do a reveal that way. All right. that 24 cards right there all right let's get started all right so first up coach soldier moral sword dragon nice if i want to do a dragon link this would be good should keep that to the side barrier statue of the heavens foolish burial Nice card. Just keep that to the side. Tour guide from the underworld. Uh, I've actually heard that some cards in Blazing Vortex would be good to uh, pair with this in uh, some decks. So that's, that's nice. Uh, I have a, another tour guide from another set. So it's nice to have one that's gold, gold rare as well. Just, just to be next to it. It's cool. All right, uh, Storming Mirror Force. Actually, a pretty cool card. Uh, you just uh, return all opponent's attack position monsters to the hand, and that's it's really useful. So, put that there. I'm actually going to keep useful cards over here as well. Next to Foolish. All right, Dark Lord Rebellion. Oh, well, I guess useful cards that I think are useful. I'd... I'm not sure about all the other cards. Uh, Lost World. See, it's for dinosaur stuff. Gear Giant. Yep. Gear Gigant. Gear Gigant X. <laughs> or is it Gigant? Yeah. Ah, let's see. Two level four machine monsters. I've seen this before somewhere. I don't remember where. Two level four monster. from your hand. Gear Gear Monster. gonna put that there unexpected die that's a it's a good card especially for a blue eyes deck well i guess maybe not a blue eyes deck um 
Yeah, actually, I don't, I don't know where that'd be good. I don't use a lot of normal monsters, so. Uh, number 74, Master of the Blades. Cosmo Dark Destroyer. Ash Blossom and Joy Spring. I needed one. So I'm going to just keep putting that over there. Tuning. Coach Soldier, another one. Parlor Dragon Maid. Uh, Trap Tricks uh, Mantis. Trickstar Reincarnation. Ghost Sister and Spooky Dogwood. It's nice. Uh, put that in the wrong spot, didn't I? Get out of there. Up there. I'm actually going to adjust my camera real quick before we continue on with the rest of these. I'm looking for a Stratos. I really need a Stratos. Alright, Hidden Temples of the Necro Valley. Speedroid Red Die. Red Eyed Die. <laughs> nice. Alright, uh, Tachyon Transmigration. Mistaken Accusation. Wow. Uh, Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal. Harpy's Pet, Phantasmal Dragon. Can maybe make a, a Harpy deck now. <laughs> maybe. I don't have a lot of Harpy monsters. Uh, Noble Knights of the Round Table. Why did I put that over there? Zodiac Dryden and Dark Lord Rebellion. That's the second one. All right, it's a pretty nice opening, I would say. So I didn't get all the cards I wanted. Definitely wish I got one of those Stratuses, but I'm in. There's always next time. I uh, see Zodiac. Beatrice, Ghost Sister, Parlor, Ash Blossom, Cosmo Dark Destroyer, Tour Guide, and Borosaur Dragon. Really nice. Let's see, I think maybe Borosaur can go in a, another deck, a Blue Eyes deck maybe? Cannot be destroyed by battle. You can target one attack position monster, change it to defense position. This card makes a second attack during each battle phase this turn. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to this effect's activation. Once per turn, when this card declares an attack on a face up monster, you can activate this effect. Until the end of this turn, this card gains attack equal to half of what the current the monster's current attack, and if it does, that monster's current attack is half. Interesting. Yeah, so that'd be an interesting card to uh, throw into a uh, Blue Eyes deck. Nice and shiny, too. I'm only talking about Blue Eyes deck because I currently have a Blue Eyes deck I'm working on. It's uh, not the best Blue Eyes deck, to be fair. Uh, I started off with one, uh, one structure deck of Saga of the Blue Eyes. And from there, I essentially just built it up from uh, Mystery Power Boxes. So, I mean, considering where it is now, it's, it's pretty it's pretty good for what it is now, considering how I built it. So, yeah, uh, I'll probably display it somewhere in the future. And I think that'd be pretty cool. It, it sucks as a deck, but for, for what it is at the moment, it it does what it does. All right, and uh, that's that's going to do it for today. Just get these two cards as well, Foolish Burial and Storming Mirror Forest, which are nice little cards to, to work with too. Especially uh, Foolish Burial uh, in a hero deck. I'm also building a hero deck. Uh, that'd be great for sending a shadow mist to the grave and bringing a a, a hero to your hand. 
but yeah uh, that's that's it for the video uh, this was a pack note a pack opening with the dual noob uh, opening maximum gold and thanks for watching please like and subscribe and enjoy the rest of your day bye